Today we're talking about flowering plants, which have been around for 125 million years. Yeah, and now there are more than 250,000 species, some of which are growing in your backyard. Flowers of the living stones. The Amborella, Trigopogon, Podophyllum peltatum, Donnie go to bed at noon. Our entire landscape, uh, as we know it, is defined by flowering plants. When we think of a landscape, and it's basically inhabited by flowering plants that give it its characteristic um, appearance. Grasses, for example, are flowering plants. Most of our um, trees, all of the deciduous, just about all of the deciduous trees are flowering plants. Our early flowering plant fossils go back about 125 or so million years. Traditionally, plants yeah, would be, would be um, recognized just by an expert in the field. And now, very exciting things are happening, like people are envisioning that you might have a DNA barcode. We can conceive now of maybe a handheld device that um, you could take out into the field and you could um, take a little bit of that plant and then you could know exactly what it is just from the DNA. The flowers are not just there for show, they're a very important part of the biology of the organism. The organs that are involved in plant reproduction are housed within the flower. And the flower also provides then some protection for the developing seed. The evolution, the origin of the flower was an amazing innovation because it modified the way that plant reproduction occurred and provided this additional protection for the developing seeds. And it's occurred very rapidly, and so that tells you something about um, the speed at which evolution can occur, which is quite exciting. We generate lots of DNA sequences. We have sophisticated computer programs to help us analyze the data. A lot of the important um, medicines and drugs that we have uh, originally were identified from ex extracts of plants. So if you found um, a useful um, medicine in one plant, um, if you know what that plant's related to, you might, find, you might go to its nearest relative to look for um, a better source of that uh, chemical. You can get excited about biology at any time. There are a lot of uh, career opportunities for people who have training in botany or plant biology. Um, certainly there are opportunities in universities doing the same sorts of things that we do, research, teaching, training new graduate students. But there are also opportunities in other sites, in other types of institutions. For example, agencies such as the Forest Service or the Division of um, Fish and Wildlife. So there are opportunities in conservation biology and um, uh, just a lot of different opportunities. Join us next time on SciPath. And visit us online at scipath.research.ufl.edu.